The graph in the picture on the screen is what we call a periodic function. A periodic function has that name because every value is repeating in regular intervals or periods. Now, if you're unsure of what a period is on a graph, you can start from whatever point you want. Let's say we start from this point right here. If you then trace the graph, we have that value again at the second point that I'm drawing. So from this first point to the second point, that would be one period of the graph. You didn't have to choose those two points. You could have started at the top of one of those hills. So let's say we start right here. You trace the graph. Once you get back to that same point up top, that would be one period. Now, it does not matter which points you're going between because the period is the same across the entire graph. So the red line that I drew and the blue line that I drew should be the same distance. The period is the same across the entire graph. Now, please understand this is just a snippet of one periodic function. These do go on forever to the left and to the right. It's just not drawn. One more thing is what's called the amplitude. So the amplitude, if you've ever learned about waves, is the height of a wave. Please understand that the amplitude is not from the very bottom of this graph to the very top of this graph. You actually start in the middle and you either go to the very top or the very bottom. But that is our amplitude. It's the height of the function. So we've got our height, which is the amplitude, and we have our period which is how long it takes to get through one cycle or the length of one cycle of your periodic graph.